Oh, wow. Yes, Chin Tzu Yi. We've got some fresh new Chin Tzu Yi content here. Let's see what's the vibe. He's got a mukbang, actually. Chin's got a mukbang here with Korean food. Last time I checked out Chin's Korean food, he made a ri ridiculously depressing uh, burrito at home with some fucking tin meats and shit. It looked like it was dog food and stuff. Like, it looked awful. It looked incredibly sad and lonely. Like, he's de calling out for a fucking girlfriend. So let's see what he does this time around. Um, big up Chin. Let's see what he's doing here. Uh, there he is there, Chin. I think I'll save the other ones for next, another stream because there's loads of others I need to check out also here. But we'll check out the other ones another time. But let's check out this one. My first 7-Eleven mukbang in Korea. Because the 7-Elevens over there are meant to be really good, right? Um, they're always featured in fucking um, food vloggers and stuff. So let's see um, what we're saying here. <laughs> Rodeo, can we get some singing? No, I hope he doesn't. Hope he doesn't start off singing. Hope he doesn't start off singing. Like, welcome back to my channel. Like, hope he doesn't do all that shit. Please don't. Please, I beg of you, Chin. Just review the food and keep it moving, brother. Please. What's up? It's Chin Su Yi here in my Airbnb in Seoul, South Korea. I'm here with my parents. I took them here because I had a week off for the first time in seven years or seven or eight years. Jesus Christ. The most important person in Thick Boy organization. Say, okay, let me end the polls up, by the way, because I think it does. Oh, so I can let you guys see the chat and stuff. Uh, what was the final result here? The final result was most of you think yeah okay most of most of you agree with me that nikki paris is funnier than brendan did i say he's funnier i don't know it doesn't matter but yeah um chin the first vacation in seven to eight years is insane considering how important he is if anything if i'm the if i'm the if i'm brendan i would actually want chin to go away more often so he can come back refreshed and inspired he can maybe, I don't know, he tried out some new techniques of filming. He's been watching some stuff. I don't know, whatever, right? Whatever, whatever. That's what I would do if that if I was a boss. I mean, I'd, I'd want him to feel like, you know, motivated to come into work and not just see it as a slog because I need him because I'm Brendan and I can't upload videos. I can't shoot. I can't do anything. So I need this guy to be really on it. Um, so to give him a vacation for only like a week, which is less than a week really, because it takes two days to fucking, you know, you take a day each each way to kind of go back forth for a career is fucking bizarre, but hey. Since I've been with Fighter and the Kid and all the other shows, I filmed a bunch of stuff in Korea, but this will be the mukbang version. I see a bunch of YouTubers do these mukbang videos of 7-Elevens and like different convenience stores in Korea. So I figured I'd do the same thing, but mine's gonna be much more lame. I saw these two items, this here, it's just like a meat stick, but it looks good. I have no idea what's in it and what it tastes like, obviously. And I got this over here, bam. Because I've seen a lot of convenience store, 7 -Eleven. He probably did this because he had no time. That's a sad thing about this. He probably had no time. He probably had to rush to meet family and whatever else, friends, that he had actually no time to actually do the things he wanted to do, like mukbangs and stuff. So the only time he had available, he quickly lit around the corner and grabbed the first things he saw. Because this is pretty pathetic. If you go all the way to South Korea, you got like two fucking sausages as a mukbang in your home country. You didn't even have enough time. I'm in videos about these like sausage things, sausage on a stick kind of things. And then I probably got the worst thing you could ever get for a 7-Eleven uh, convenience store mukbang. And it's this. I'm pretty sure they're just boiled eggs, two boiled eggs. But I also got kas, Korean beer. Oh, it looks like urine, isn't it? It looks a bit like piss, to be fair. And you best believe I got that chamisu soju. Yeah, soju looks fucking banging. Tornado. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> uh, chin's one of those guys, isn't it? <laughs> Look at him. It makes us a real badass <laughs> the way he did that. <laughs> that's that's him on the first date. You know, that's him on the first date. Imagine you're on the first date with him, sitting across from him. So what do you so what do you do? Oh, okay. Um, have you drunk this before? I don't even know if you had to drink these sort of things. How do you drink them? Don't worry, babe. I got this. I, 
I got this. And you best believe I got that Chinese soju. <laughs> Tornado. <laughs> Cheers. Baddie. <laughs> Look at him taking that suju straight to the face. Go on. <sighs> Cheers. To chase it. <sighs> but so, I've, I have heard from people in the know that um, South Koreans are pretty decent drinkers. Like they can fucking hold their liquor. Like they drink you know suju and beers back to back to back to back to back they go crazy with that shit so maybe this is this is you know this is the real shit now let's warm these things up and then another thing i got here that i love is this shrimp chips but these are spicy ones these are incredible all warmed up and once again all i have is this sausage on a stick and this other meat To be chin, man. To be chin. I'm just imagining the optics of this, right? I imagine, because imagine, I imagine Asian people are probably similar to black people in that way. For him to run away, like he has to explain this to his family that he's leaving them to go back to his room to film a video about these little sausages he bought in the 7-Eleven. You know, like <laughs> without his friends, nothing. He just has to sit in his. You know what I mean, like. That's going to be a hard thing to fucking explain to your family when you're away visiting them. It's going to be difficult to get out of that room. Like, how do you explain to your family that you're going back to your room to film some video with some fucking sausages that you bought from the 7-Eleven store? Oh, bless Chin, man. Honestly, bless the guy, man. But he, he deserves way more than what he's getting, man. Fucking hell. Eat stick, which I have no idea what it is. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. I got the ridiculous boiled eggs and then these shrimp chips. I will give you my best honest review. And oh, I forgot to mention, this is a Chiltung cider. We call it cider. And it was one of my favorite drinks when we visited. Is that cider or is that a lemonade? That looks really cool. Korea when I was in my early, I think my early 20s. What is it though? Is it a cider or is it so a lemonade? So thank goodness they have a zero. That's really cool. If that's a cider, that looks delish. A version of it now, as in zero sugar. Here they are. You see them? But let's crack these eggs first. You know what? I'm going to do one egg. Because I don't want to eat. Coiler says it's Sprite. Why is it called cider if it's Sprite then? Am I being redacted by saying that? It looks like Sprite to me, but I didn't, I don't know. I, I didn't want to be redacted. I didn't want to. <laughs> you know, like. Um, Henry, Dave, Henry, Henry, uh, Henry Poet says, play Matt Rife's new Crowdwork special next. Nah, I'm not doing that again, mate. Last time I tried to play Matt Rife's content, my channel nearly got nuked. Not having that again, the slightest. Not, I'm not playing around with Matt Rife, man. He's, his team doesn't fuck around. <laughs> Hard world eggs for this. Oh, shoot. Dang it. And that right here is the finished product. And there's still some shell left on my fingertips, I think. Gosh dang it. <laughs> don't, don't even look at this, but you will. There's all the- Whose man's is this? Whose man's is this? Who? <laughs> Fucking hell these shells on the freaking meat sticks i gotta clean that up i'm gonna need to finish this now <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a fucking drowning that's a drown your sorrows gulp in it look at that that's a fucking drown your sorrows gulp He's every fucking drop lit. He's not wasting a single drop of that suju, mate. That's going straight in the fucking gullet. That's a drowning of sorrows. Every fucking drop needs to be drunk on that one. Fucking hell, he's damn bad. Yeah, bro, yeah, he's damn real bad. <laughs> oh, this is depressing. I'm not going to lie, man. This is kind of depressing. I feel for the guy. I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel for him. 
he deserves like a good group of friends, a little, a little, little baddie on the side. You know what I mean? And instead, he's working fucking seventy million hours for Brendan, who's confusing him for Japanese every single time. Like it's like God Almighty, man. Yeah, it's, it's exactly Z. If he had a partner, they'd force him to go on a long vacation. Exactly. The partner wouldn't accept to go. F- Imagine going to Southeast Asia, to fucking South Korea, for five days only. The trip over there takes about 14 hours. The same probably coming back. So you're essentially, if you take five days, you're going to be there for free. But I think he took seven, so he was there for five. That's not enough time to spend time with your family, to meet your friends, to do shit. Like, it's just not enough time. That's probably why this mukbang is so shit. Because the, the little time he had available, he had to quickly grab shit for what he just saw available on the way there. He didn't have time to, like, go to vending machines. He didn't have time to go to, like, little hole in the walls. He didn't have a time to go to places that he maybe grew up eating at when he was younger or whatnot. Zero. Something he might have saw on Instagram. He had no time. He had to rush back and film fucking firing the kid. <laughs> <laughs> fucking no he deserves way more than this man that's why it's important in life to really know your worth it's important because I think in his position he's actually got leverage because if he walks away that whole T5K Fit Boy production place implodes because he's the one man army that keeps it all running even that producer Nick guy he looks like you know he looks like the kind of guy like if he was selling a brick of coke he might be taking a few dabs himself do you know what I mean he looks like somebody that samples his own products he doesn't look like the most reliable person in the world like Chin's actually for the most part doesn't really have many vices lives to work works to live he actually should be looking and looked after more but he doesn't know his value he's there thanking fucking master Brendan for giving him time off thank you guy thank you for letting me go like it's like Jesus Christ man like oh yeah yeah Okay, first the sausage. This sucker right here. Let's give it a shot. Hey, a pause. You heard the snap, right? When he snapped that, do you see his eyes go together when he snapped that? That that did something to his that did something to his fucking um to his insides. His eyes went like that when he when he bit into it, no? Or am I bugging? <laughs> <laughs> that hit that hit a spot in it that brought back some memories <laughs> you heard the snap right i honestly thought this would be so much saltier but it's actually pretty balanced it's actually not that salty which i'm shocked by especially since it's from a convenience store like 7-eleven let me take one more bite we know don't we know you heard that right all right i'm sold on these I showed you the picture of him. Glizzy Gobbler, mate. He's fucking loving these glizzies, isn't it? You should definitely get these. These are awesome. Now let's try this. I'm amazed. What's crazy is like, I thought all these would be, or not all these, these two, just this and this would be super salty, but they're not. They're actually really well balanced. Nothing's overpowering, kind of mild. The fact that these two things that are obviously preserved meats are not salty is crazy to me, but it's awesome as well. There's just enough salt and just enough savoriness. It's It just makes it so good. Oh my gosh, I'm super surprised. And typically I eat salty foods, Man bought two sausages and a couple of eggs. Uh, honestly, man, these 7-Elevens, there's, there's entire channels dedicated to 7-Elevens in South Korea. Vending machines and all that sort of shit. Super, super like interesting shit if you're into that sort of stuff. And this guy got two sausages on a stick and a couple of boiled eggs. That's just his personality, isn't it? <laughs> like... He managed to make the he managed to make a country with some of the most interesting cuisine and snack culture ever look ridiculously boring. With a boiled egg or a fried egg because it just oh, yeah, balances it out. Same thing. 
These two, it doesn't even need this boiled egg <laughs> that I bought for this, but let's try this boiled egg out. I have to be honest though. I have to be honest. This particular boiled egg reminds me, especially with the yolk, it reminds me of uh, every single boiled egg I've ever had in my life. <laughs> So that was a marketing thing. And I saw a bunch of them, a bunch of different ones, but with different like writing, different marketing things. But I'm pretty sure they're the same. They're just boiled eggs. So why did you get it then? Why did you go into a 7-Eleven in fucking South Korea and buy boiled eggs if you knew it was going to be the same as any other boiled egg? You know? But boiled eggs, always good. All right, that's it, y'all. I'm going to chase it all down with a cider. My bad. I forgot the shrimp chips. I'm telling you, they're so tasty and spicy, but not spicy to where you can't eat a bunch of them. I will finish this entire bag, no problem. And that's why I'm gonna get fat in Korea. Thank you for joining me. I don't know, man. <sighs> he bums me out watching this stuff. I'm not going to lie. He bums me out, man. This guy's like, what, in his 40s or something, isn't it? Like, fucking hell, man. This guy bums me out, man. So sad. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's like on the spectrum or if maybe his personality just doesn't, you know, really lend itself to having friends anyway. Maybe his work. Um, I don't know. It's just an interesting person. I find him very interesting. But he just bums me out. I'm not going to lie. He bums me out. Watching his content fucking bums me out. Like, Jesus Christ, Chin. Like, fucking hell. Anyway, what can you do? Um, <laughs> I 